Hi everyone, it's Rob Klein and you're watching another Supernatural review and this is season 5 episode 9, The Real Ghostbusters. If you're new here, I do a recap and review of every single episode of Supernatural, so let's get into it. So I like totally forgot this episode was coming up. This was actually like a nice surprise and I think it like kind of gets lost. So you kind of forget about it because there are a few episodes like this throughout the series and so Sometimes you just kind of forget about them. They kind of get a little bit lost. It's also at a moment where, the, you know, you just had such a good episode with changing channels. And the next episode, I think, is also pretty good. It's a little bit, you know, serial, more serialized, but it's a good episode. So this one kind of gets lost. It does. And I feel like it is a little bit underrated. Like, I have it above changing channels on my top episodes of season five. I was, I almost, I started putting it above the end when I started watching this episode because I was like, oh my god, this episode's so good, whatever. And then when it was over, I was like, no, like, the end is still better. <laughs> so, but it's still, like, up there and it will probably end up in the top five list unless it doesn't. But yeah, this episode's a really nice surprise and it's something where I think this is probably one of those episodes just, like, changing channels the the writers had it on the list they wanted to do this episode they wanted to make it happen and it's something where like this could have been in any season like there's really nothing serialized about it except at the end when they were like okay this is where the cult is it's like this is what the writers do best is they have these ideas where it's like they didn't have to do this but they did and it just makes the show so much better to have all this like meta-ness I guess in it. I mean a lot of things about this episode is just perfect from start to end. I mean they they had to have it be like a real case like there is no way to not make it a real case. They had to have that happen and you know ghosts are something easy. Ghosts are something that you know it's easy to do and I think how they did it where it fit really well with the story where like okay they think it's this ghost that's terrorizing so let's get rid of this ghost but it turns out it was the other ghost. <laughs> I mean there had to be other people at that I don't know like not really motel but like small hotel that wasn't there for the conference because at the end they had like they brought you know the people who were working the front desk and stuff they brought in a few people but there had to be like more people at the hotel anyway but I'm also starting to wonder like when did supernatural conventions start like maybe they were inspired by supernatural conventions I feel like it probably was around this time maybe you know probably a little bit sooner and so they probably were inspired by supernatural conventions and so they wanted to do a convention episode and you know they had the book series out so it makes sense it's kind of funny with like becky in this episode and stuff and then it also i just triggered because i know i'm posting this far in advance but right now it is june what's today 17th i know i'm posting this probably in like august or something but i just watched the first few episodes of The Voice of season four and the guy who plays Chug had some scenes <laughs> and you're like, yeah, I understand you want to be on The Voice because it's Air Kirky, he's your friend, everyone's doing it, but like you signed on to do this character, like you couldn't be another character and he clearly, I don't know, maybe he wanted to do those scenes, who knows. Yeah, it's so, it was just like funny and like it's just, it had a lot of good moments and there's nothing too critical to say about it. I mean, maybe like some of the things are a little bit on the nose, but I mean, it was, <laughs> I don't know, it was just funny to see like all the different versions of Sam and Dean and people like pretending to be them. So that was great. So overall, not too much to discuss. It was very episodic episode. I feel like this episode, even though like it's hard to show someone this as their first episode to like get them into Supernatural because you kind of have to be like a fan of Supernatural to appreciate this episode. So it is a little bit hard. I, I wouldn't suggest it, but maybe, you know, if you're showing them like just, you know, a few episodes and they're like getting into it, you know, you, this is the episode you shouldn't skip over. It's a good episode, but it is hard as like a first episode. So I'll say that. I'll say that. It's going to be really short, but I just don't have much else to say because there's not much to critique, I guess. I feel like there wasn't really a B plot. I guess you could say that. But there's also some like deeper lines about like, you know, how Dean's like, why would you ever want to be Sam and Dean? And the guy's like, you know, you get to save the world. Like, we have regular jobs. We live regular lives that we, like, save the world. Or no, you guys save the world. And I feel like that way, too. Like, it's kind of like an escape. Like, 
especially that's like when I was in high school, like shows like this, like it was just an escape from my life. And so the, the people at this convention, like the books, it's an escape from their lives. And you want to be this, like you want to have a purpose in your life, like saving people like they do. Like, yeah, their life sucks to them, but like you're doing something good. Like, anyway, I'm going to end here, but thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and bye.